Welcome to my channel, friends. Today, I'll show you how to install Palo Alto 901 on the VMware workstation. So let's get started. So this is the file. This is the OVA file that I have compatible with VMware. So let's get started. Okay, uh, let it import the file once done. We will start the configuration of uh, Palo Alto 901. And by the way, this is VMware 14.1.2. Let me know if you want uh, me to make a video on how to run Palo Alto 901 on VM or VMware ESXi server. So now we are doing it on VMware workstation. So let me go to the settings. So there are times when you will have some issues with the interface not showing up in the Palo Alto. So in order to solve that, you can change the NIC type from here. If you can see VMX net three to E thousand Intel NIC type. And I have fixed this issue multiple times on VMware Workstation as well as on open source Zen hypervisor, XCP hypervisor. Now I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to start this VM and I'm going to see what is the NIC type and whether there is any issues with the PMX Net3 NIC type might take some time to load the firmware and auto configure everything. Let's wait for some time.
by default the management interface which is the first interface in my case it is going to be vmnet 8 um, the first boot will force the management interface to fall back to DHCP configuration and then it will automatically get an IP address from the VMNet 8 adapter and post that. We should be able to log in to the box using that particular IP. Since we don't have any IPs yet, so we will not be able to configure or will not be able to log into the device. Let's wait for some time. So if you if you try to log in into the box, it'll throw the error login incorrect because there are multiple processes which is running in the background which is yet to uh, you know start all the service. I guess odd D is the process that runs in the background, so it might take some time to start all the service. And then once you have the IP address from the DHCP, it'll show up on the console on the screen. Let's wait for some time. So you can see here, I just received an IP from the DHCP server, which is So you can see here, I'm able to log into the device. So you'll have to start all the service. So disable HDP. I want to say no. GPS, I want to say no.
yet to commit the changes. Let's wait for some time. Okay, so let's try to log into the box. You can see here, I'm able to at least get to the GUI. Let's try. You can see here, I'm able to log into the box. Okay, this is the GUI for 901. You can see here, all the interfaces. Let me try to configure something. Okay, so you can see here, I'm able to configure all the interfaces, no issues with VMX, net, and IC type. So if in case you have any issues, you can always change that VMX net 3 to uh, E1000, which is Intel. All right, guys, um, thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more updates. Please do subscribe to my channel, support me, and stay home, stay safe. Have a good day. Bye-bye.